University of Texas at El Paso students from both the class of 2020 and 2021 are excited about finally having a graduation ceremony. I wish that COVID hadn't happened, most of all, um, to where like I could have had more family come down and to join me with this once in a lifetime experience. The Auntie Michelle Sears is the first in her family to graduate from a university. She says it's a proud moment for her family, but because of the cost of last minute travel expenses, her relatives who live in Virginia won't be attending the ceremony. Congratulations. I'll have pictures I can send and I'll have video that's recorded. So even if they can't physically be here to support me and see me, they will still be able to see me um, online or through video. Yomaira Gonzalez graduated from UTEP in 2020, but because of the pandemic, her commencement ceremony was canceled. I had difficult times. I I cried, but I made it. So that's why it, it, for me it's special because I actually completed some like goals. Gonzalez is very excited. She can be a part of the ceremony now. She's also a first generation college student, and this means a lot to her parents who did not achieve the same level of education. My mom, my dad didn't complete um, the a college education or edu any education to be exact. I think for them is really meaningful. Gonzalez wants to make her parents proud, especially her father who is sick. My dad is really sick. So I wanted to show them that actually I, I complete my education and they can be proud of myself. Astrid Elsa Barrientos is also in the class of 2020 and she's excited about finally having a ceremony. I was really, really sad when they postponed it in December because I've I feel like it does, I already have my diploma, but it feels more real walking across the stage. Her mother hopes that Barrientos' older brother and twin sister can also attend now that UTEP is allowing up to eight guests per graduate. Oh, I'm very proud. Very, very proud. Um, she strives for the best and whatever she puts her mind to, she gets to it. And that's what I admire about her. And I love that about her. The pandemic may have put a proud moment on hold for parents and graduates, but now they're eager for a ceremony to celebrate. Reporting for Border Scene, Valeria Armendariz.